What's up everybody, Bill here, Guitar Struggles, with a shitty video about left-handed and right-handed guitars. And what's the big deal with left-handed guitars? Did they get it right? Or is it all fucking reversed? Should right-handed guitars be left-handed? And do left-handed guitar players get fucked? And do they definitely get fucked when they buy guitars? And I'm gonna say yes, too. But is it all a scam? And also, I've been drinking, so let's make this a drunk investigation, and let's start the music now. Drunk investigation, even though this isn't really science-y, but, but it's as science-y as some of the other videos that I make, so... Official drunk investigation. Plight of the, the left-handed guitar player. And you hear about it all the time, the plight of the left-handed guitar player. And they don't make good guitars for them, and when they do, it costs a ton more fucking money. But what about the plight of the right-handed guitar player? And I feel like this. Is there even such thing as a left-handed and right-handed guitar? How come they don't have left-handed pianos? And if they do, correct me in the comments, but I, but I don't think they do. I, I don't think that they have... All the low notes always start at the left side of the piano, and you play those with your left hand, and then they go to the high notes at the right side of the piano. And I think lefties probably play pianos, and I'm not, I'm not big into famous piano players. I pretty much know Elton John. I know, uh, well, I know Elton John, Barry Manilow, well, Eddie Van Halen plays, but he's, I know he's right-handed, but those other guys, I don't know if they're left-handed or right-handed. They don't make left-handed and right-handed fucking, any woodwind instrument or any brass instrument, any kind of horn or flute or fucking saxophone, which is a horn, uh, left-handed and right-handed is the same no matter what your dominant hand is. And I feel like this, too. And I pretty much suck at guitar, uh, to some degree. But I feel like my right hand sucks sucks worse than my left hand does. I feel like my left hand is more happening. And, you know, I, I think when they started, when they started making guitar-like instruments back in the day, back in the, uh, I, I don't know when they started making them, but I would imagine it evolved. I think that, that the reason was, it was probably more into finger-picking and you would just chord things, and probably the first um, stringed instruments they made were probably, you know, open tunings to, to a chord to where you would just bar them, and I could see that, but, but as the guitar evolves, and, you know, you get into shredding, there's a lot, I, I think, personally, there's as much dexterity going on in the left hand as there is in the right hand, and I feel, personally, my left hand is more happening than my right hand, especially now that I've been focusing on my right hand, and just learning and discovering how much it actually sucks. So I kind of wonder, if I started playing guitar on a left-handed guitar and didn't know any better, and played this way and did the fingering with my right hand, maybe my left hand, since it's more happening at fingering the notes, maybe it would actually be more happening at doing the picking, and I could actually do chicken picking and finger picking. That's where it really fucks me up, when, when I try and do any kind of finger picking shit. Which I'd imagine in the old days, when the shit was first invented, that they didn't have plectrums and picks, or maybe they did. But I think a lot of it was finger-picking style shit, much like the harp, which was probably invented before, um, before any kind of lute-like instrument. But, but I could be completely wrong, because this is drunk investigation, where I do absolutely no investigation, or five minutes of it. But this time I did no investigation, I, I've just been thinking about it a little bit. But here's the thing. There's a lot of lefties, okay? Lefties can go one or two ways. Either someone can tell them, it's like, oh, well, you can't play this guitar because this is a right-handed guitar. But if you didn't know any better and you just played it, there's a lot of people that are left-handed that do shit right-handed when it comes to sports and shit like that. Because left-handed people, in my opinion, the ones that I know and know of, like sports figures and shit, left-handed people seem to have more dexterity than, than right-handed people. Okay, and there's this one dude that comes to mind, Cam Cooper, and he does YouTube videos, and he only has like 3,000 subs, which is way more than me, but he should have tons more. He, he's one of the most smoking guitar players in the world, in my opinion, and, and in a lot of people's opinions, and, and this dude fucking rips it, okay? He rips it with his left hand and his right hand, and he's talked about this in videos. He's actually left-handed, and he has the most happening vibrato you've ever seen, okay? 
and he plays a right-handed guitar because he was like, fuck it, I don't want to get into this whole left-handed guitar shit. So I'm just going to play right-handed guitar so I have plenty of choice and shit like that. And I don't have to worry about, well, there's no left-handed guitars or the guitar I want. Uh, i got to pay extra for a left-handed guitar. He was a kid and he just started playing right-handed. And I think his dad played. I'm pretty sure his dad played. Who may or may not have been... Uh, left-handed or right-handed and does it really matter like I said in the piano does it really fucking matter because I think when you get down to these kind of instruments I think you need dexterity in both your hands but he attributes his smoking vibrato and this this kid I don't know he's in college he calls it university because he's he's from fucking Europe one of them countries he calls it university so he's, he's college age he has the most happening vibrato, honestly, that I've ever heard, for a metal-style guitar. Uh, excuse me, and that's pretty much what he plays, but, uh, but I'm sure his vibrato would be happening for any style guitar, as a matter of fact. And who else are good left-handed guitar players? Yeah, that dude from In the Blues, I think his name's Shane. Shane from In the Blues. Smoking guitar player, left-handed guitar player. And always has trouble finding left-handed guitars, okay? Then you got, uh... Oh, let's go to Jimi Hendrix, the most famous left-handed guitar player of all time, smoking guitar player. What did he do? Turned his fucking guitar upside down and played a right-handed guitar, lefty. And really, the only difference in a left and right-handed guitar is uh, the cutaway, you know? But Jimi Hendrix, so let's say, you know, he couldn't afford a left-handed guitar, but once he got famous, he totally could have afforded it, and he was like, fuck it. I'm sticking with what works. I like right-handed guitars upside down. And I'm sure somebody told him he was lefty in the beginning, and probably he probably could have played right-handed, in my opinion. I think left-handed guitars are kind of a scam. And I don't blame the companies, because you can't just uh, pump out tons of left-handed guitars, because there aren't as many left-handed people as there are right-handed people. But I think if, in the beginning, if... if if you had a way that, that you could try out guitars, and, and maybe that's what people should do, because maybe in the beginning you could try it out, uh, like a really cheap guitar, or like when you try your shoes on and they measure your foot, maybe there would be some kind of guitar, or when you get measured for golf clubs and shit like that, you go to the guitar store and you try it out, before you're locked into shit, because right now I couldn't try and do anything lefty, because it would be bad, anything I do lefty, it's like, I throw like a fucking fag, I, I throw worse than a fucking fag. I know what you're saying. Well, a lot of fags throw really good. No, they don't. No, they don't. most fags don't. There, there's a few fags that do, but in general, most fags don't throw really well. But that's a whole nother topic. I can't draw shit. I can't write left-handed. I can't do a lot of shit. But I can, I can finger the fretboard really fucking well left-handed. And then usually when you talk about shit like this, with your buddies left-handed and right-handed, someone would be like, you know what you should do one time? You should beat your dick. You should beat your dick with your left hand because it, it'll feel like it's somebody new. It'll feel like you like you have a new girlfriend. And, and honestly, I couldn't get anything even going with my left hand. And you know, it actually would feel more like a new girlfriend. That same dude putting his mouth on my dick rather than me using my own left hand because I'm so tired of people telling that fucking joke. It's old as shit. And again, that's not that's not part of the topic. Drunk investigation. But uh, back to the great Jimi Hendrix. I bet if he learned righty, he could play really well righty. Um, but he didn't. He stuck with it. And then even after he could afford left-handed guitars, fuck it, I'm sticking with what works. Who else do we know that was really fucking famous left-handed people? The great... The great Rocky Balboa. Southpaw. Southpaw in, in sports, being left-handed is a big advantage. In boxing, it throws people off completely. He almost beat Apollo Creed in that first fight, but he got fucking tagged in the fucking head so many times his eye got all fucked up, and then his manager was like, you can't fight anymore like this, your eye's too fucked up. And then Rocky II was the worst movie ever out of all the Rockies. Well, not the worst, but, but it sucked. It was basically him sitting in the hospital with his wife the whole time, and then uh, finally the fight at the end, which we, which was the best part of Rocky too. And he made a good joke about condoms because he thought condominiums were condoms. But other than that, that movie wasn't that good. But the point is, he could even switch. 
because Mickey was like this. Mickey, his trainer, he was like, you got to protect that eye. But he said, you got to protect that eye, Rock. You got to protect that eye. You can't fight no more. Credo moiety you to death. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to fight right-handed. And then what we're going to do, when he's ready, you're going to switch. You're going to switch back to Southpaw. And Creed won't know what to do. you are moiety him to death. And then Rocky was like, no, no, no tricks. No tricks. I'm just going to fight. I'm going to fight right-handed, or something like that in a Rocky. Two bad impressions right there. But my point is, most left-handed people can do shit both-handed. And my brother-in-law, he's fucking left-handed, and he golfs left-handed, throws right-handed and left-handed, doesn't throw like a fucking fag, either way. Does a lot of things like a fag. He's kind of faggy, but, um, but he does shit with both hands. He can actually write with both hands. And he doesn't write well with either hand, so, but he's equal. But my point is, lefties, I, I think there's something else in the brain besides that, that lefties can do shit that righties can't do. And they're very popular in baseball as well because they need that left-handed pitcher. And then you need the left-handed batter that can bat against the, the left-handed pitcher, I think. Drunk investigation. But then it's like... Well, baseball is all full of fucking left-handed people, man. Now, you would think eventually right-handed people would have the advantage because they'd be like the lefty because most people are fucking lefty. So I don't know. And I don't follow baseball that much. Basically, football and hockey are my favorite sports. But anyway, back to the left-handed guitar. And why is it a scam? Maybe it is. So the thing is... Uh, excuse me. The left-handed guitar is going to cost more, and there's not as many options, obviously, because why are they going to build the same amount of left-handed guitars? Because most people play right-handed, okay? And lefties get pissed about it, and I don't blame them, but it's almost like... It would be, it would be like this. It would be like this. There's plenty of dudes... Not pl Well, there is. There's plenty of dudes that like wearing ladies' underwear, all right? That like wearing fucking ladies' underpants. And do they get all pissed off? It doesn't have a dick hole in it because they're made for ladies and the ladies don't need a dick hole to piss out of. They sit down and they pull their fucking panties down. That's how they piss. But some dudes really just like wearing ladies' fucking underwears and that's what fucking makes them happy. And they don't like wearing regular fucking guys' underwear. Now, is the whole ladies' underwear business going to accommodate the small percentage of, of dudes that like wearing ladies' underwear by putting dick holes in it, because the, the, the women aren't going to buy it with a dick hole in it, because they don't want it. So it leaves the guy with two options. Either you call the underwear man, manufacturer and you custom order it, and of course they'll probably make it for you, but it'll cost two, three, four, five times as much, because their factories aren't set up for, for making dick holes in the underwear. These young Chinese boys that they have fucking assembling underpants there's no template for the dick hole. So you got that option, or they go the Jimi Hendrix route, which is kind of, you take the underpants and, and you customize it yourself. And, you know, you cut your own dick hole in it, and then you sew it up around the dick hole, I would imagine, so that it doesn't keep tearing, and you, and you don't ruin your pair of fucking panties, which would probably be the cheaper app, which in my opinion is pretty much the same thing as Jimi Hendrix turning the guitar upside down, you know, paying for the right-handed guitar, and then you just restring it. Fucking left-handed guitars, okay? But like I said, if there was really a thing to that in music... I go back to what I started with. Why don't they have left-handed pan left pianos? And then you take dudes like super shredding dudes that do like this double tapping and they tap with all their fingers uh, on the on the entire fucking fretboard to me they have both hands are doing the same thing so if you were lefty why don't you just turn the guitar around and then that brings up in, uh, another thought when i when i think about myself because i think honestly if i started on a left-handed guitar i'd have at least the i'd be at least as good as i am now and probably better. I'm going to say probably better. Maybe they got it backwards. Maybe they got it completely backwards to start with. And we've all been playing left-handed guitars. And then the joke's on the lefty. Because actually you're going through all this fucking trouble. And you're paying extra for a left-handed guitar. Look, in the air quotes. And what are you actually buying? A right-handed 
right-handed guitar and you were better off with, with that in the first place. And if Jimi Hendrix would have just played that way, he might still be alive today. Drunk investigation. That's what I got. Not a super sciencey drunk investigation. Definitely a shitty video. Um, I was going to make a different shitty video, but then this popped to mind. And also Benny fucked me. I was going to make a Benny video. He fucked me as usual, but that's all right. That's what nephews are for. That's what kids do. They fuck you. Glad I don't have any of my own. So till next time, everybody. Your struggles are most definitely my struggles. And I'm out of here.